Let's talk about modals of ability in the present and the past. Different modals that we have that we can use to talk about ability are can and can't, could and couldn't, be able to, with all of the present and past forms of the verb be, and in some cases, know how to or in the past, knew how to. I'm going to show you how each of these works so that you can use them correctly to talk about abilities. Let's start with the present. We can use can to talk about physical abilities. For example, Jennifer can run really fast. Notice that pronunciation of can in that sentence. Jennifer can run really fast. You don't hear Jennifer can run. When we speak quickly, it sounds like this. Jennifer can run. You don't hear the vowel. You just hear sounds like K and N. Jennifer can run. With the negative of can, it's can't. Paul can't swim very well. Paul can't swim very well. Here, you almost don't hear the T, so it sounds like can, but it's can't. Paul can't swim very well. We also use can with the five senses. See, hear, smell, taste, touch, for example. What did you say? I can't hear you. Or, my grandmother can't see very well. I can taste the vanilla in this coffee. So a quick note about how to write the negative. You can write can't, the contraction, and this is very, very common. Or you can write it like this, cannot. Technically, you can also write it like this, cannot, two words. But this is very uncommon today in English. Most of the time, people either use the contraction, can't, or cannot, written as one word. If we are talking about skills that we learn, we can use can or know how to. For example, Paula knows how to play the violin, or Paula can play the violin. I can't speak Chinese. I don't know how to speak Chinese. Those have the same meaning. Finally, there's one more construction we can use for any kind of ability, and that is be able to. And we will transform the verb be into the appropriate form in the present, that's am, is, or are. For example, Lisa is able to speak three languages. Or, the kids aren't able to read yet. Or, Paul is able to drive a car. Or, I'm able to see out that window. So let's talk about ability in the past. If we're talking about general past ability, we will use could or couldn't or be able to. And we would use the past form of be, either was, wasn't, were, weren't. For example, Frances was a swimmer in college. She could swim really fast. Notice the pronunciation here, it's could. It rhymes with good. You don't hear the U or the L. She could swim really fast. Or, Frank was able to read when he was four years old. Jesse was able to drive a truck when he was 10. In the past, many girls were able to sew. We went to a concert last night. We sat in the back. We couldn't see or hear very well. Or, we weren't able to see or hear very well. We can also use knew how to for things that we learned how to do. For example, Jesse knew how to drive a truck 
when he was 10 years old. He didn't know how to drive a truck when he was nine years old. Or, in the past, most girls knew how to sew. If we're talking about a single action, then, or something that occurred one time, we'll use was or were able to. For example, we drove to the store last night and we were able to get there just before it closed. Or, Bob did so well on his exams, he was able to go to his first choice of college. So now that we have looked at all of the modals for ability in present and past, let's take a little quiz. What is the best way to complete each sentence? Number one, Tanya is three years old. She doesn't know how to read yet. She can't read yet or she isn't able to read yet. All three of these are good ways to complete this sentence. Number two, it's very dark outside. I can't see out of the car window. You can also say I'm not able to see out of the car window, but most people will say I can't see out of the window because it's shorter and easier to say. Number three, Jane was sick last week. She couldn't go to work or she wasn't able to go to work. Both of these are good ways to answer this question. People might choose couldn't because it's shorter, but both are good ways to answer the question. And here is the last one. There's only one way to complete this sentence. The kids were able to finish all of their homework last night. Their teacher will be so happy. And there you have it, different models of ability for present and past. Thanks for watching.